In this video, we will be talking about clean architecture in Flutter. Clean architecture is a software design principle introduced by Uncle Bob that promotes the separation of concerns and aims to create a modular, scalable, and testable code base. It is not specific to Flutter, but can be applied to any software development framework. Clean architecture is more towards principle rather than pattern such as MVC or MVVM. Regarding the difference between clean architecture and software pattern like MVVM, we will talk about it in details in future video. Coming back to clean architecture, clean architecture provides guidelines on how to structure the code base and define dependencies between different layers of an application. In the context of Flutter, clean architecture typically consists of the following layers. Presentation layer. This layer contains the user interface components, such as widgets, screens, and views. It is responsible for handling user interactions and rendering the UI. The presentation layer should be independent of the business logic and data access implementation details. Next, domain layer. The domain layer represents the core business logic of the applications. It contains use cases, entities, and business rules. Use cases defines the operations or actions that can be performed in the application. Entity represents the essential object in the domain and encapsulate their behavior and state. Lastly, data layer. The data layer is responsible for data retrieval and storage. It consists of repositories and data sources. Repositories provide an abstraction layer for accessing and manipulating data. They define the contract or interface for data operations, which are implemented by the data sources. Data sources can be remote APIs, local databases, or external data providers. Next comes to the core concept of clean architecture, which is three rules for dependencies between the layers. First rule, the presentation layer depends on the domain layer. The presentation layer interacts with the domain layer through interfaces or abstraction provided by the domain layer. This allows the business logic to be decoupled from the presentation layer. Next, second rule. The domain layer is independent of other layers. The domain layer contains the core business logic and should not have any dependencies on external frameworks, libraries, or UI-related components. This makes the domain layer reusable and platform agnostic. Last rule, the data layer depends on the domain layer. The data layer implements the interfaces or abstraction defined in the domain layer. This allows different data sources, such as APIs or databases, to be plugged into the application without affecting the domain layer. These three rules are mandatory to adhere if you wish to implement clean architecture in your code base. By adhering to these principles in Flutter, you can achieve benefits such as separation of concern. The code base becomes modular and easier to maintain as each layer has distinct responsibilities. Testability. The layers can be tested independently, making it easier to write unit tests and integration tests for the business logic and data layer. Scalability and maintainability. The clean separation of layers allows for easier modification and additions to the code base as the application grows. So now let's dive into the code. Here I will show you a simple example of implementing clean architecture in Flutter code base. Here I have a Flutter project. In the project lips folder, you can see that I have created three folders for data, domain, and presentation layers, and a main.dat file. Let's start introducing one by one. Firstly, in the main.dat file, it's responsible to handle routing and theme. That's all. No UI code should be placed inside this folder as UI code should be handled inside presentation layer. Next comes to the presentation folder. This folder is where you handle all the UI codes from a simple widget to a whole screen. Next comes to the data layer. In the data layer, 
we have our model class and repository. Repository is mainly to handle APIs or connection to databases. So you can see that user repository class is an abstract class. This is very important as by implementing abstraction, we can hide the implementation details from the domain layer. So we have a class that implements the user repository and inside the class is where we define the implementations for each function. Now coming to the domain layer, you can see that domain layer is depending on the data layers user repository class. Domain layer requires user repository class instance to execute the get user method. Here is where it promotes separation of concern. In the execute method, it doesn't need to know the implementation details of the get user function. It just knows that this function should return a list of user model object. This provides the flexibility for developer to mock the function easily during unit testing or integration testing. You can further extend this structure by adding additional use cases, repositories, and data sources as needed for your application. Note that this is a simplified example, and in a real-world application, you might have more complex interactions and additional layers, such as network clients, mappers, or dependency injection frameworks. The specific implementation details may vary based on your application requirements and the architectural patterns you choose to use. Conclusion Clean architecture in Flutter emphasize more on principles rather than pattern. You can modify the layers and structure as you wish, as long as it adheres to the principles. There is no a single exact answer to the implementation of clean architecture because you have to consider more aspects when the application grows. For example, when you handle stream data rather than APIs, or when you implement third-party APIs such as Payment Gateway or Authentications. Some complex projects might even use a combination of clean architecture with TDD or MVVM. Clean architecture with TDD has recently gained large popularity among the software industry. Regarding the implementation, we will talk about it in details in future video. Usually, these projects handles millions of active users daily. So this is how you implement clean architecture in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.